Just a reminder, there are attached exercises and homework assignments that you can utilize when trying to implement the skills that we talked about in earlier videos into daily practice. Highly recommend opening them and letting me know if you have any questions. So for our exercise, you're going to sit facing your partner or spouse. You're gonna either sit on the floor cross-legged where you're touching knees, or if you have a bad back or bad knees, you can use chairs. Just get them really close to each other so that you're actually physically touching each other's knees with your knees. Then you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna place them on your partner's knees and they're gonna place theirs on yours as well. This is a really good time to practice body language. So you're gonna actively practice getting your shoulders away from your ears, relaxing your face, maybe closing your eyes for a second while you get into that relaxed state, relax your neck, relax your back. You can watch each other actually physically relax too. Maybe you take a deep breath together, that breath mirroring. So allowing all the tension to leave your body. You can also verbalize the relaxation together, starting at your feet, feet relax, calves relax, thighs relax. Telling and instructing each other might be a really good way to get into the same mindset of relaxation. Next, you're gonna initiate eye gazing. The first time you do this, let me tell you, it might be funny, you might be like, cat, what the heck are we doing? You're going to put your hands on their knees and look into their eyes. And this could cause you, again, to laugh, to cry, to be angry. Sometimes it makes you feel really uncomfortable. Sometimes you might wanna jump into your partner's lap. Just know that this is a really intimate exercise and it's the beginning to a lot of sexual expansion. So it can excite you for the potential of where this can go. But for now, it's just an exercise of basic connection. When is the last time that you looked into your partner's eyes? When is the last time they looked at yours? When's the last time you sat facing each other, just simply touching with no expectation for sex? You're just connecting in this moment. When you're initially starting out, set a timer for five minutes. Do it for five minutes every single day. Return to each other in this loving way that you're intentionally making time to connect, to really see your partner. Level two of this exercise is to initiate deeper conversations. This is a really great structure for you to be able to practice the glass exercise, but also if you don't wanna go straight into what's bothering you, you can utilize some prompts to help just deepen the conversation of your own experience. This might make you laugh, cry, make you wanna run away. This is a good indication of what is your coping mechanism? What is your nervous system doing when you feel vulnerable, when you feel seen? Are you wanting to fight? Are you wanting to like yell at your partner because you feel uncomfortable? Do you want to run away? Are you shutting down? So it's a good reflection of what's happening in your nervous system. The second level of this is to start initiating conversations. I've had plenty of couples say, we started a timer for five minutes and we sat looking at each other and talking for two and a half hours. And we talked about things that I didn't know my partner was going through. And we cleared a lot of that stuff out that I didn't even know was there. So it's a great it's a great opportunity to practice that glass clearing exercise. And if the glass clearing exercise is still a little bit intimidating, you can use these prompts. What is one thing that you're going through that I don't see? What is one thing that is hard for you to tell me? How can I make it safer and easier for you to tell me what's going on? What is one thing that I can do to show up better for you? So I'll put these questions in the attachment. That way you can, hey, we're sitting here. I'm going to read these specific questions that Kat gave us. And then eventually you can just start asking each other your own questions and really deepen that connection in that way. Allowing these prompts to really open up the dialogue, open up the safety container, opening up, opening up the discussion for vulnerability, knowing that if you're both maintaining that intimacy mindset, your relationship is blooming and expanding into this container of safety, love, growth, nourishment, and expansion. Have fun and I'll see you for the next module.